do you want Patty Pimblet first or do you want like Jim Miller or Clay Guida first? Um, so here's where my my uh business is gonna get interesting because I currently won two fights on my second contract. So now I'm up for negotiation for my third. Fighting Patty Pimblet, I want 75 and 75. If the UFC, you know, isn't willing to settle on that price, I would probably take like 60, 60, but they'll have to pay for all my corners and not just one. And they'll have to give me two rooms, not just one. I want a little added bonuses in there. Um, if that is completely out of the question, they're like, hey, this is your third contract. We're going to give you like 40 and 40. I'm going to fight out these last two and I'm going to go be a millionaire in PFL. Okay, interesting. I like how you think about all that. That's the business side. No, yeah, for sure. The fame, the fame's cool, but I, I don't care to see my name up in lights. I'm just a small town kid from Casco, New York. It's South Cairo to be specific. They don't even know who, where it is, or what it is. That's in upstate. Is known for Mike Tyson, but yeah, so it's upstate. Yeah. Um, is your manager gonna speak to the UFC, or is this how, like how do you usually deal that's with? What I've been talking to you about this. Okay. This thing. Yeah. So you, that's like your guys' plan about, a little bit, and this is the whole plan. Okay. Well, hopefully you can get it because I think you are, there's a turning tide in the UFC right now. And I think uh, you're a part of that new wave coming up. Yeah. Yeah. I think you're definitely a part of that new wave coming up and uh, definitely a future potential champion, man. I'm not going to like put too much on you because that's for you to say. I feel like I can beat Islam though. Yeah. I mean, I think your skills are, are top notch. You would be a huge problem for, even I'll say it, like, I know you used to train with him, but I was thinking watching you fight, like, dude, this guy against like Poirier and shit. Like that, those are good fights, especially maybe after one or two more, like guys on that level. I think you're right up there. I feel like I am. I just took the slow road. I enjoy, like I said, what I, what I do outside of the octagon. So it's not on my mind to uh, win a fight and then, you know, get right back to it and try to fight again instantly. I just, I just want to fight. I would like to, you know, take my girl somewhere go explore, go log cabin, snowboard, stuff like that. Live. I only have so long here. Right. So, and then also try to maybe get some of that. Uh, I forget right now what they call it, but have your money working for you. Right. So, so that yeah, you can so like some, have some, some revenue coming in. Yeah. yeah. I, I do have some money in brokerage, uh, you know, Roth IRA. I have a bunch of stuff like that. I'm going to start my business, my LLC. Um, and get some stuff rolling with that. I like to do brand videos. So any brands out there that need a UGC creator, I love making videos. It's fun. Okay. Yeah. Like uh, cameras and stuff like that. Yeah, Try yeah. them out and post videos. Yeah, my it. camera, this camera is like, what is this? Three, almost $4,000. Oh, that's why it's so good. I got a new camera too. <laughs> yeah. You're just killing mine right now. I yeah. just got this one like last month. It's like a wide okay. angle. No, it's good. It's good. It's actually honestly better than, some of the podcasters that I've been on and some of the podcasters, you know, you should have your setup nice, nice and smooth. Even a, a Sony ZV-E10 is 700 bucks. Use that instead of a webcam. Yeah. 100%. Yeah. This is an FX30. This is an FX30 with a thousand dollar lens on it. Yeah. I have like my, uh, my Canon over here also recording like on the side too. So yeah, I, I try to get good production. I think it matters. And then I'm not sure. Did you answer when I asked you about uh, who you want first, Patty or Jim? Cause you had said, you were oh. going to talk about the contract, yeah, right? Yeah. yeah. Contract. So, um, yeah, for either one, I mean, I just make sense to be paid for what I'm doing. That's really all that matters in the, the furthering pursuit of my UFC career. Because after all, this is my livelihood without, you know, what I make now and the way inflation is going is not, it's kind of like borderline now. So <laughs> uh, definitely need that higher pay. And then uh, once I get that, man, you can put whoever you want in front of me. Every time they call me, they give me one name. It's never, I don't get to choose. They just say, this is the guy who needs a fight. You want to fight him? Yes or no? I just, yeah. So it is, it's not even about who next. It's the compensation is all it's really coming down. Pretty to. much. Yeah. Pretty much. I've fought the hardest people that they can find for me all the they try to put me with all the strikers they all get beat they put me with full-on mixed martial artists and uh they all get beat so now you just pay me what i deserve 
I feel like four fight win streak is if what Patty's on a five fight win streak, and I guarantee you he's getting paid. Guarantee you. So. <laughs> he's getting banked for sure. Let's but match he's got Patty. London. Let's let's fight Patty and match Patty. Yeah. If, if we don't match Patty, let's get a little, little bit less in it. Okay. And it's also kind of seems simple. It's you're not going to be held up in negotiations right now because you have it cut and dry. If, if the UFC wants to compensate you, beautiful. If they don't, mm-hmm. you'll continue to fight, but you have an, another plan for that as well. So there's not going to be no hold up here. Oh. Yeah. Hell yeah. I, I feel love like that. I feel like if I don't decide to resign, uh, there'll be some some negatives to it. But I mean, life goes on. It's the game, right? Yeah. <laughs>